Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. New homie contacted me quite a while ago and I do have to apologize to them for taking so long <laughs> to getting to this huge, huge pack of diamond paintings. <laughs> they let me pick out quite a few. So this is going to be like a little mini series, I guess. We're not going to unpack or unbag all of these diamond paintings in one video or we would be sitting here for quite a while. I believe there are 14 of them in here. So I think I'm going to split it up into three videos. We'll do five and then five in part two and then we'll do four of them in part three. Okay, so let's get this humongo pack open. And we'll just randomly pick out five to unbag in this first part. I have no idea <laughs> anymore which ones I picked out. I'm just going to grab five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we'll put these others over here. All right, so these are the five we are going to look at in this video. Number one. <laughs> okay, has the code down here. I think, yeah, we'll open this end. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, yes. I believe I picked out a bunch of 30 by 30s. No, I guess it does go this way, right? Yeah. No, I was right. <laughs> um, I wanted to get a bunch of 30 by 30s because I am, as I stated in some of my other videos, jumping on Anne's bandwagon of the 30 by 30s and putting them in a scrapbook. I thought that was such a neat idea to do some you know, nice, nice quick diamond paintings and be able to not you know, frame them and put them on a wall, but still be able to have them neat in some type of book format so you can look through them. So I picked out this beautiful pink rose. Isn't that pretty? We have a nice big key code up here. Let's zoom in a little. Look at all these shades of pink. Oh, pretty. There are 13 colors and it is just letters and numbers. Okay, let's take a look. Now this is a partial, so it won't take too long to do something like this. But, oh, very, very clear. It is poured glue. The canvas looks perfect. As you can see, you can see those numbers and letters perfectly fine. Quite sticky. Should not be a problem whatsoever. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. You do get your standard toolkit. The single placer, standard green boat, and a little square of wax. Let's take a look at the pretty drills. Okay. Here we go. These 30 by 30s are going to be so much fun to just sit and do in my chair in the living room, which is going to be so nice. Oh my gosh. Let's zoom in a little more, shall we? Whoops. There we go. Look at these pretty pinks. That's a full pack. Wow. Oh, look at those three colors together. Gorgeous. 
And we have some of the yellows. Oh, I love that color too. And some of our shading colors. Beautiful pale yellow. Oh, I love that shade of orange too. And our deep yellows. Another orange. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I think that is going to be stunning. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So that is number one. can't remember for sure if I picked all 30 by 30s. I think I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. But I may be mistaken. I may have picked some other ones too. I'm not sure. And I tried to pick, again, like I stated in some other videos, um, unbagging videos, some little bit different type of diamond paintings for me um, because I wanted a variety in the scrapbook that I'm going to be putting these all in and when I show you a bunch of the 30 by 30s that I purchased myself I'm going to show you the book and and uh, what I'm going to be putting them all in um, and arranging them very, very much so similar to what uh, Anne from Crafting with Anne is doing. I love how she's doing her. So I'm copying her. <laughs> and yeah, I have a ton of unbagging sitting there waiting for me to show you guys. This one is a 30 by 40. So yes, I lied again. <laughs> But I thought she was so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have the horses down below in the base of the waterfall. I have something kind of similar to this in a great big diamond painting. Um, but it's not with the horses down here. I can't remember exactly what it looks like. But it's something similar with water coming down off the woman. Very pretty. Let's take a look at the drill field, especially where it's got all these blacks. I guess not the absolute clearest, um, but you definitely can, especially with a light board, a light pad, you can distinguish quite easily which one is which. Like these would be B's, right? Yes. The three tens are B's. So, I mean, even though, you know, I've seen some symbols that are a little clearer than this, you can still distinguish them quite easily. Yeah, you can, you can pick them out. As you can see on camera, you can still pick them out. And the lighter colors, you definitely can see real easy. There are a couple of symbols in here, so it is not just letters and numbers. There are a few symbols, but only like the parentheses, there's a slash. So nothing real, you know, real uh, odd, shall we say. Some of, the, some of the symbols in some of the diamond paintings get real close. Um, in their shape and sometimes they're real hard to distinguish especially if the colors are real similar so that does not look to be the case in this particular diamond painting so yeah I think that is so pretty in the colors up in here gorgeous all right do you get another standard toolkit let's take a look at the colors. Look at all the pretty blues in here. I just love how you see the shadow of some of the horses here. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at the colors in here. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. 
Can you tell I like teal or what? <laughs> Look at that color. Oh my gosh, I love it. That is stunning. Oh, so pretty. These colors together. Here's a deep, deep teal. Yeah, that's pretty close, isn't it? <laughs> and then the really deep one. Oh my gosh. Here's a beautiful, bright, sunny yellow. And then the rest of them, here's, here's the long one. Oh, here's some of the colors up in the sky. Ooh, that's a real deep, deep mob. Okay, are they three tens? Yes. Oh, they don't have DMC codes on the packs. Hmm, okay. They do have them on the canvas, just not on the packs themselves. They're just numbered and then the kit identification code. Ooh, that's a pretty color too. Some pretty blues. Oh, and the gorgeous aqua colors. Oh, those two together are so pretty. Oh, another gorgeous orange. Oh, look at that color. That turquoise is stunning. Another mauve. Oh, these two colors together too. Isn't that beautiful? Another pretty blue. Kind of a rusty color. Hmm? Real deep gray. Oh, she is going to be beautiful. Yes, she is. So, this one will not be going in the book, but she is going to be gorgeous nonetheless. Some pictures just don't come in 30 by 30s because they're rectangular and not square. And 30 by 40s are the perfect kind of in-between size, right? It's not your teeny tiny 25 by 25s and yet it's not your humongo 60 by 80 which I have a ton of upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, we won't, we won't even go there. How many 60 by 80s I have. Yeah, because when I first started diamond painting, gosh, how many years ago now? That was my size, 60 by 80. I love doing the big ones. But boy, it sure is nice now to get some small ones to do in between. You know, here, down here in the living room. And then have my real large ones as my project upstairs. So, yeah. You get the best of both worlds that way. Let's go on to number three, shall we? Let's see what else we got. Oh, yes. I love this one, too. Another standard toolkit. Oh, look at the purples. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Aren't they adorable? Ah, we got our two little kitties sitting up in the tree. In the evening, looking at the moon. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. We have 18 colors in here. Nice big key code in the upper left and lower right. And it's a stick drill site. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that name that before. Yes, so cute. Okay, I'm going to let that fold back up, I guess, as we look at these pretty colors. You can see why Lisa was attracted to this one. Not only does it have kitty cats in, but it's got pretty purples. Okay, okay, come on. There we go. Oh, that was a real hard one to find. They really hid this one. Now, this one appears to be pre-kitted up. This one is already in babies, whereas the other two weren't. Oh my gosh, not only does it have gorgeous purples, take a look at that blue. Is that not pretty? Can't even shake them around because they have all the air pushed out of the bag, which is nice. You know that it's sealed tight, and you're not going to lose any, but that is stunning. Wow. Let's take a look at some of the others. Oh my gosh, these blues. Look at these all together. Is that not pretty? I think there are. Yeah, here we have some other real deep, pretty blues. So a lot of blues in this picture. That's the background. We have some browns here for the tree. We do have white. I think these are not black. These are the deep blues. This, uh, I want to say 790s. No, that's not 790s. 2290s. Oh gosh, you can tell I haven't diamond painted in a while. Got to get back at that. And another pretty dark blue. And we have our greens. That's a different color, isn't it? That pretty deep green. There's black. <laughs> Now these are only numbered, which is nice. Very easy to follow um, the symbols, you know, the numbers and stuff on the canvas. And here's those gorgeous purples. So a lot more blues in there than the purples. But oh, between the blues and the purples, that is going to be stunning. Let's zoom back out again. Oh, so cute. Can't you just see this thing done and framed? I can see hanging this one on my bedroom wall. Now, this must be, it doesn't state on the canvas, but this must be a 30 by 40 also. Definitely not a 30 by 30, so it's got to be a 30 by 40. Oh, so cute. Okay. <laughs> Let's put these back in and we shall look at the fourth one. And that's why I wanted to split this up into a few videos rather than taking the time to just unbag everything in one video. I will leave a link to New Homie in the description below. And if I can find each of these specific uh, diamond paintings, I will leave all those links below in the description also. Which I should be able to, I would think. If you don't see a link to one of the specific paintings, it's because I couldn't find it. And if you're really interested in it and can't find it, let me know. And I will do some more in-depth digging for you. <laughs> All right, on to number four. This is so exciting. Especially when you don't remember what you uh, had them send you. It's kind of like Christmas. 
Uh, all right, here we go. Look at those colors. <laughs> right, another standard toolkit. This one you do have a few baggies with. Look it, look it. Ooh. <laughs> Must be another, yep, 30 by 40. Isn't she stunning? Oh, I thought this was gorgeous, of course. Look at those blues and purples. And if that background is all black, no, nope, if you look real close, it's black and blue. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's all black and blue. But yeah, if you look real close down here, let's look how clear it is again. The glue is, is always really good on these. These, of course, are poured glue canvases. But the letters and numbers and stuff are all very, very clear on here. Even where this is all really dark, you can distinguish between the blue and the black very easily with the N's and the K's. So even though they're similar in color, you can see the difference in the letters very easily. Won't have a problem with that at all, which is nice. And then up in her... Oh, yeah, she is going to be so pretty. Yeah, you can see these all very easily, and that's through the plastic, so. Even her lips. <laughs> oh, let's look at the drills. Can't you just picture these pretty colors in here? She's gorgeous. Oh, yes, I can see them already. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I had you zoomed in that whole while. <laughs> oh, look at that pretty purpley pink color. And look at all that black. Okay, there are no uh, DMC codes on here, but yeah, that has to be black. Unless it's that real dark, dark blue. That is a possibility. Because it doesn't really look completely black. Did it have the DMC codes on here? No. Okay. So I'm not sure. Sometimes the deep, deep colors are so similar to the black, it's kind of hard to tell. Because it doesn't look true black, does it? Well, on camera it kind of does. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's a dark, dark color. Put it that way. Oh, pretty. Okay, now this is the dark blue. So, maybe that is black. Yeah. Because I bet you these two are the background then. So, that must be black. Beautiful lavender. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm sure these are all going in her wings. And then we have all these gorgeous blues. Oh, that is one full pack. Beautiful blues. And two big packs of the super dark, dark blue. So that's got to be going in the background also. Look at these two blues. Ooh, so pretty. I love, this is one of my favorite shades of blue. Is this real deep aqua. Another pretty purple. Super light mint green. Kind of white with just a hint of mint green. Pretty blue. And then our 
mauve color. Oh my gosh. So he's going to be so gorgeous. And of course, as we unpack each one, it's like, I want to start that one. I want to start that one. Yep. <laughs> we always want to start. Just like when you get a new coloring book. It's like, oh, I want to color a picture out of there right away. Okay. Oh, I didn't put him in the bag. Silly goof. I guess with having them in the white envelope thingy my bobber they wouldn't have to go in here but this just is an extra safeguard I guess so you don't lose the drills sorry for the crinkling if you don't like that noise <laughs> all right one left if I can get this one back in here didn't have a problem with the other ones Hmm, this must be a tighter of an envelope or whatever you want to call it. I don't want to bend it all up. Yeah, so these are nice, nice canvases. I can just feel, you know, that these are the heavier, you know, canvases that are so nice to work on. I'm going to shake this down. It feels like it's right up tight to the end there. And we don't want to cut the canvas. Okay, last but not least, in this video at least, is the fifth one. Let's see, what else I picked out? <laughs> oh, yes. This is another 30 by 30. Oh, no, 30 by 40. That, does, that is not a 30 by 40. That is a 30 by 30. I mean, it says 30 by 40, but no, this is not a 30 by 40. <laughs> Another standard toolkit. But is she not gorgeous? Oh, when I seen those green eyes with this green background. Oh, she is so pretty. There are what? There are 24 colors in this little thing. Holy cow, lots of shades of green. Imagine that. Green and brown. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we do have the, the uh, key, upper left, lower right again, which is nice. Let's take a look. Now, I do see some, like, uh, hmm, let me zoom in, let you see. I do see some little... Not rivers. They're not really rivers. And you can't really even feel them on the canvas. Um, but you can see them. I don't think that's going to be a problem whatsoever to drill over though. Because like I said, I can hardly feel them with my thumb. So putting a drill over the top of these is not going to be a problem. You can see it in here. And down here. But again... I don't think that's going to be a problem whatsoever. I think it just got implanted, if that's the word you want to use, into the glue from from the uh, the 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 covering, the the clear covering. So that should not be a problem. But I just did want to point it out because if you'll notice, there is those creases from the covering. So, and because this is poured glue, I think that just, like I said, embedded with being wrapped so tight, you know, around drills and stuff, that just kind of embedded into the glue. But again, that is not going to be a problem when you drill it. And the, uh, yeah, lettering, I guess, is, again, not the clearest on some of them, the, these dark ones right here. And that must be, let's go and look. I 
I'm assuming that's probably either going to be a super dark, dark green or else black. Because we have R here. We have an O, I think that is. And then we have Bs. So these must be Bs. That's what it looks like anyhow. It would be process of elimination. But yet in here... You can still see the difference between the B's and then this dark brown right here. And those are G's. So you can distinguish between them. And with a light board, you'd really be able to tell the difference. So I don't think that that's going to be a big issue. You know, when you have these dark colors like this with the white lettering, if there's going to be any problems whatsoever with seeing symbols, it's going to be in an area like that. Whereas when you have your lighter areas with the dark let numbering or lettering, typically you're not going to have as much of a problem in that area. So, like I said, I don't think you're going to have a problem drilling this either way. Because you can definitely still see what the letter is. But yeah, she's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Let's look at the pretty colors. It's so exciting. Oh, I see some pretties. And I'm not even a big fan of green, but oh, this one just, I don't know. It called out to me. And said, pick me, pick me. <laughs> All right, let's zoom in on these pretty colors. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. And we have a hitchhiker that wants to be this color. He's jealous. Says, I don't want to be plain brown. A lot of browns in here, too. Oops. So these would all be in her skin. Her beautiful face. Oh, look at that pretty mint green. Mm, love mint green. Any pastel color, I guess. <laughs> pretty leaf green, kind of. Look at all these shades of green. Isn't that gorgeous? So greens and browns. Earthy tones, skin tones. It's really sticking together here. There we go. Oh, look at that green. That pretty spring green. Love it. Kind of a jade green. Now, is that... Yeah, that's a real deep, deep, deep forest green. All of the colors, I'm assuming, going for her skin tones and all the shading and that. And some grace. Ooh, look at that pretty light mint green. Oh my gosh. Huge pack of 310s. <laughs> and then the shading for the skin tone, I, I'm assuming. Probably like down in her arm down in here. Oh my gosh, she is going to be so pretty. And a gorgeous addition to the 30 by 30 book that <laughs> hopefully I'll be starting <laughs> sometime in the near future. I do have a smaller one that I do have to work on first and get uh, that one done. It... Uh, Mm, it, it, I shouldn't say a smaller one because it's probably bigger than what a lot of people like. I think it's a 40 by 50, but I was doing it in my chair. 
And so I really should work on that before I get any of these 30 by 30s out. I already have one started here in the craft room that started a long time ago as a diamond and painting and chat here in the, on the channel. And that's still sitting up here on the top. So I may just work on that one off camera too. And then maybe we can work on some of these small ones on camera. You know, for those times when I run out of content for the channel. <clears throat> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. All right. Oh my gosh, these these are just beautiful. I cannot wait to open the others. Uh, so each week, because most of you know I can only record on the weekends. So um, each weekend when I record, we're going to open up some more of these. And we're going to see what else is in this big pack. So uh, next video, again, we'll be showing five. We'll be on... on uh, Begging five of them, and then the last one will have four, and we will make it through all 14 of the diamond paintings. So, oh, very, very happy with these five so far. So, thank you very much to New Homie for um, asking me if I would like to showcase some of your diamond paintings on my channel. I am more than happy to do so. Um, and thank you for your patience uh, in waiting for me to uh, get some of these videos out for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching these unbaggings uh, for this part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two and three. If you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.